our previous sessions we have talked about this uh, leadership and uh, you see that is the leadership is to be studied uh, uh, on the basis of uh, the demographic variables. So, we also see that is the those who are young leaders we have seen that is uh, uh, those uh, who are the below 40 right those leaders then we have talked about uh, the senior leaders also those who are the senior in age and then they have proved themselves uh, as a leader right. Now, similarly there will be also the uh, economic conditions and leadership we have discussed that is the, those who were the economically poor and then they have become the uh, on basis of these KBOs knowledge based organizations so they have become the leaders. So, therefore, then the third of, uh, dimension which uh, today I am going to discuss with you in demographic variables is it is a women in leadership roles right. So, therefore, uh, if we talk about the Indian history also. So, in India history for the freedom fighter also we, we have seen that is the there have been the number of uh, warriors uh, like the Rani Lakshmi Bai uh, uh, from Jhasi in India. So, therefore, there have been the, the number of women who have proved themselves as a leader. When we are talking in the organizational context today, so I will be discussing with you that is the what is the women in leadership, characteristics of the women leadership is there, uh, where are the women, where do they stand as far as the leadership positioning is concerned, where are the women in India, uh, various women's leadership, what are the main challenges for the female leaders, uh, 10 reasons why we need more women in leadership roles at the workplace then how can your workplace better uh, uh, foster gender equity then as usual the case study, research papers, book recommendations and references. So, whenever we are talking about the women in leadership right, uh, so slowly and slowly we have seen that is the in a, uh, entrepreneurship, administration, education, engineering, health etcetera and uh, at a very in, uh, uh, different level, the regional level, national level, global levels is there. Here I would also like to start it is a uh, women in leadership it starts from the family. So, therefore, whenever we are talking about uh, that is the leadership, so it is not new for the women. Uh, in Indian uh, culture you will find it is the uh, the whole family is, is uh, dependent uh, on the lady of the house and therefore, whenever we are talking about uh, that is the leadership positions. Uh, so, when we talk about in the society, so in society also the basic uh, especially in Indian culture you will find that is the uh, woman is the leader right and of course, uh, uh, the father of the family uh, is uh, also contributing contributing, but it is more towards uh, uh, the economic contribution is there as far as the culture is concerned and developing the child is concerned, the growing is concerned. So, that is uh, Mr. Sharu Rangnekar has written the book on this that is the family management and that, that is also a leadership position is there. So, to break the traditional glass ceiling that barred them from entering leadership position, yes of course, uh, uh, that is uh, coming from the outside of the home and then becoming the organizational leaders right. So, that, that is uh, also not very new, but uh, yes it, it is still have the lot of scope. The world has witnessed the advent of women leaders such as Hillary Rodman Clinton, Indra Nui, Oprah Winfrey, Theresa, uh, Theresa May, Christian Regard to name a few and therefore, uh, here and uh, I would also like to put some names uh, that is the when we uh, in the banking industry in India and at a time they were more than uh, 12 uh, chairperson of the banks uh, and that uh, that were uh, uh, the women only in banking industry and that was the really a true representation of the um, women leaders uh, in uh, India and that is true into the financial institution and the uh, like the SBI is concerned. So, uh, these are the examples uh, where these uh, uh, the leaders uh, like some of here are that you see then uh, in Indian banking industry we talk about the Anditi Bhattacharya and all those th those who have given these organizations uh, position are the when the Kiran Shah Muzumdar. So, therefore, when we talk about that is these corporate leaders. Uh, so, these leaders have proved themselves uh, that is the yes uh, uh, whether it is a question of the uh, rural uh, um, marketing, whether it is a question of the digital marketing, whether it is a question of the science, uh, technology 
or management issues uh, like I have given the example of the Kiran Shah Mazumdar and they have for when biotech when we talk about. So, these, these are the certain examples which are the leading and uh, then definitely uh, you find that is these uh, women have proved uh, uh, that is very as a su very successful leaders are concerned. Uh, uh, in administration I would like to talk about Indian the Kiran Bedi is there. So, therefore, these are the uh, leaders uh, those who are into the different uh, uh, that whether social or political or economical legal or technological areas they have proved themselves uh, uh, very successfully. Now, when we are talking about the uh, transformational uh, styles right that we have discussed in the uh, styles of the leadership also if you remember uh, when we have talked about the theoretical model of leadership is there that charismatic leaders and transformational leaders uh, we have talked in the previous sessions. Uh, so, we, uh, women leaders are more transformational than men leaders is there. They function as a role model for their subordinates uh, and they inspire their team and spend a lot of time coaching their team. Now, you see that I will make analogy with the family here and therefore, in that case for the all family members uh, what, what a mother does the, the that lady of the house uh, uh, she she keeps the all the children and the father relationship in laws relationship parents relationship societal relationships so that is the that is a team she creates a team and they spend a lot of time to uh, uh, develop born and brought up of uh, uh, the child is there uh, re recently our prime minister uh, um, uh, modi he has uh, also uh, sometimes keep are talking about the mother and therefore, we find that is uh, that is also a leadership and example is there. So, uh, therefore, we talk about uh, that is the uh, leadership uh, is a transformational also task focus also and prefer to work uh, in the collegial that particular environment is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, it, it is it is always working together. Um, what I found is common in this particular trait uh, that is togetherness the growing the whether uh, it is the family or the organization uh, nation or uh, globally are uh, these concepts uh, that we talk about in the leadership uh, the very common with the women leadership is there uh, that is vasudeva kutumbakam what we say and that, that is the global village and uh, leading uh, these uh, this globe uh, is a family itself uh, right so um, that uh, the promote cooperation and collaboration as i was uh, mentioning about the team building who can learn the better uh, team building than the housewife uh, where the uh, she she has to uh, uh, interact uh, and develop uh, the 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 different characteristics uh, uh, personality characteristics of the family members are there and same thing happens at the workplace also when we talk about the promote the cooperation and collaboration right so she she gives that freedom that is the expression right so therefore she gets the more cooperation because there, there is a concern so, that woman is having the always a concern for the each member of the team and naturally as a as a as a response she gets the cooperation and the work together is there. Now, the tend to be participatory and possess a democratic style of leading people because that is a communication uh, style is there right. So, therefore, it is a command and control style practiced by the male leaders uh, is more right where the participative and the understanding right the, that that is communication communication style has been uh, adopted by the women leaders is there. Now, here it is the self branding is also concerned. Now, you see they are the silent partners of the group and they that is the, uh, the uh, they, they do not uh, brand themselves uh, um, very fast and then you will find that is the results are there and then, then the, the secret they are the secret leaders many of them are the secret leaders are there uh, that is their contribution is there, uh, but uh, they, they are not uh, that much uh, dominating and uh, uh, in the race to prove that uh, this organization is because of me. So, it is not the concept of me rather than it is a concept of us, it is because of us is there. Now, you see there is a, this is statistics of female CEOs in fortune 500 and then the, that is in 2019 it has been reached to the 33 number is there right. And uh, when, when we make the, this trend analysis right, so definitely in the case uh, whenever we are we see the jump is there right. So, therefore, in that case uh, when from 2011 onwards 
right and therefore we find uh, that is the if we take the uh, this uh, uh, these uh, uh, nine years uh, before nine years and the after nine years is there and therefore uh, the leadership opportunities uh, as far as the fortune companies uh, statistics is concerned and that, that that has been increased so naturally the the it, it is also a reflection of society in the global society, this number uh, which have been increased, uh, 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 may, uh, though it is a small number, we, uh, we are expecting much more uh, uh, number and uh, uh, of course, uh, we see that is this, uh, uh, this number uh, will, will keep on uh, increasing also. So, therefore, in, the, in that case, right, but when we see about the 1988, so from the 1988 to the 2019 from 1 to 33. So, if it see the percentage wise right, so definitely it, it is a uh, remarkable uh, gro growth is there. However, we find it is the uh, in the fortune 500 companies uh, when we are talking about these uh, um, global leadership is concerned and uh, here um, as we know that is the leadership which is required is definitely is a, uh, is a very highly competitive positions in the uh, uh, fortune 500 companies we say. So, but we cannot underestimate estimate this number also, but expecting the much more number is there. But uh, here we find when the academic award from the 1929 to 2020 is concerned, winner uh, uh, for the best director is concerned, right. So, it is uh, the uh, Catherine Vigelu is the only women director to win in the, uh, on the ceremonies of 92 year history is concerned, right. So, here uh, like uh, you can see these numbers also and then, then this is a progressive uh, this uh, uh, slide is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, in the uh, the uh, the Catherine Vigelu in the this uh, 2000 chain then we have we have found that is the yes uh, uh, the, this is becoming the uh, uh, in the history of these uh, 192 that is in 2008 right so the, uh, here we, we find that is the uh, yes there is a lot of scope right uh, that is the we have to give the opportunity. So, therefore, uh, the, 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 the society we means the society, society and these uh, the business world uh, and they, 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 have, they, they are changing now and then we find it is the yes uh, uh, women are uh, uh, in, uh, occupying the leadership positions is concerned. Uh, so, uh, in the corporate leadership in uh, uh, they have 7.2 uh, percent uh, to the CEOs of the the 36 right. So, therefore, the uh, while in the case of fortune 500 these uh, um, boards it is uh, it, it is a uh, um, boards it is 22.5 percent is there right and therefore, whenever top outs top outs of the S and 50 1300 11 percent is there and when we talk about the solid jobs in the top uh, 1000 companies which is a 25 percent. So, naturally this particular percentage uh, is uh, is uh, showing that is the uh, yes uh, issued jobs to the uh, top companies that is increasing. Now, in the if we talk about the corporate leadership vis a vis the academic leadership is concerned right. So, therefore, the full professors are the 32 percent which is really uh, great uh, and the college, college presidents are the 30 percent uh, women who are the women of uh, color uh, right. So, uh, presidents so who are the uh, women uh, that is a 5 percent and those who are the medical school deans that is a 16 percent is there. So, um, yes uh, we, we find that is the in the academic leadership if we compare the corporate leadership with the academic leadership is there. So, definitely the academic uh, leadership positions uh, percentage is uh, higher than the corporate leadership is there. Now, here I would also like to mention here the another dimension and that another dimension is this that is the uh, it uh, uh, the hypothesis only uh, um, which is that is the yes uh, in the academic uh, field uh, the women leadership are getting the more uh, opportunities. Now, here I would like to mention it is not only the education um, it is the service industries you will find. It is in the service industries the percentage of the women leaders uh, as compared to earlier uh, that, that has been increasing and uh, now we know this is the in this era 21st century we find that is the service industries are also doing uh, uh, almost equally good to the manufacturing industries. 
or maybe the some industries are ahead their manufacturing. The Companies Act 2013 makes it mandatory in, when we talk about in India to have a, at least one woman on company boards. So, but the increase in gender representation on paper must translate into practice and culture is there, right? And therefore, uh, uh, that is this compulsion. Now, uh, I would like to mention that is the how these compulsions are, why these compulsions are introduced. These compulsions are introduced because they were not the representation. So, therefore, uh, that is why the uh, the next sentence which we have been used that it should not be only on the, the paper, but rather than it should be into the practice and culture is there. 17 percent of the board positions in the corporate India, but only 11 percent uh, uh, leadership uh, ro roles are there. So, therefore, in that case uh, from the boardrooms, boardrooms to the CEO's room that, that, that is required to be um, still uh, have the much scope. India fares better than its Asian counterparts, diversity in executive and non-executive roles in the corporate boardrooms is there. So, uh, executive chairs 10 percent, 2.6 percent, 5 percent in Asia, 23 percent large company boards in India average at last 3 women up from the 10 percent in the 2018 is there. So, these uh, figures uh, that is the how these 5 percent that is, is increasing right and therefore, uh, whenever we are talking about uh, the role of uh, uh, the women in India and that, that has been the, uh, the continuous efforts are made by the, uh, the society and country to give them the, the more percentage. Mm, the country is ahead of the global average in a woman working in senior management position and ranks third globally, right. So, definitely uh, yes, there is always a scope uh, to go to the first position, right. But uh, yes, uh, the, however, this is also a counseling position is there. Representation of women in corporate India has increased from 21 percent uh, 5 years uh, ago to the 30 percent now. Right. So, therefore, uh, the, this is a good jump. Now, with the high representation is non-technical roles 31 percent, so over the technical roles that is a 26 percent is there. The study by management consulting firm Gino in collaboration with the Intel India has shown this uh, percentage have been which has been rep uh, reported. However, only 11 percent of the senior leaders are women compared with the 20 percent in mid level roles and 38 percent in the junior roles is there. So, then, then this, this percentage that, that is required to be uh, reached to the top positions. Uh, consultancy from the Grant Thorson also claims over 98 percent of businesses in India have at least one woman in senior management, right. So, therefore, is against the global average of the 90 percent is there. And uh, here um, then it is uh, definitely uh, th this is a matter of pride that is the uh, here the percentage of business in India uh, where the women representation and it is uh, becoming the uh, really very very high uh, as compared to rather uh, uh, the that uh, the global average is of the 90 percent only. So, therefore, in that case uh, this uh, senior management positions which have been the occupied uh, by these uh, uh, the women in the uh, uh, in uh, businesses uh, right. Uh, so, that that that, that has, has been increasing. Now, now you see that is the we have to also understand that is the this is not uh, that easy. However, this percentage uh, may be looking the less, but whenever we are talking about uh, uh, the what are the barriers why this percentage are not that uh, uh, equal equal to the uh, um, male uh, leadership. So, therefore, there are certain barriers are there. So, what is that uh, barriers are there? Uh, we have talked uh, about the in different uh, theories of uh, the leadership is that threat theory, behavioral theory and contingencies theory. So, that is the, the qualities of a leader as well as the part to achieve leadership roles are still largely based on uh, outdated male model that uh, shuts the woman out uh, and therefore, in that case uh, it is, it is the, the, uh, the cultural practices. Um, we, which is to be focused right and then to develop uh, and that change that particular culture right. So, uh, there are two things are important here. One is the leadership and, and leadership in the organization is concerned. So, leadership in the family is already the ladies are having the almost uh, uh, 100 percent I will say. Um, uh, in uh, But, uh, as far as these uh, corporate is culture right. Uh, so, therefore, that is the uh, uh, with uh, old stereotypes and that uh, men may have been leaders for so long. The trade associated with the leadership are often thought of a masculine and not viewed as a favorable when exhibited by the woman is there. And therefore, in that case uh, you see that uh, concept of management 
concept of leadership and that is the that is the force. So, the, the days uh, which have gone uh, when the structures were top down or the bottom up approaches were there, now it is a circle. So, therefore, in the circle uh, whether it is the uh, uh, it is not the question from these uh, to, uh, top down leadership or the bottom up leadership, it is the everyone. So, there now we are talking uh, we have discussed in the previous session there is a leader uh, uh, leaderless groups are there and therefore, there is no question of masculine. So, fewer connections men still uh, surplus women in having the network to learn about the opportunities and find mentors and sponsors to champion their advancement is there. Right. So, therefore, that networking because what is important now we have discussed about this that is about the exposure. Exposure will come to um, any um, uh, person with the help of the networking and therefore, in that case uh, uh, when the resources when the resources are provided uh, simple uh, example is the spending the money and that is the for the education of the girl candidate. So, therefore, uh, when we say that is the sh uh, she will also have the equal education as compared to the um, boy is concerned. So, therefore, it is not the choice between the that is the boy is going to a very highly modern school and the uh, girls and child is going to a school where, they, where there is no much uh, exposure. So, the so uh, however, this concept is now becoming minimizing, but not uh, but that is also giving an understanding of the ex world. So, therefore, better is the exposure, better will be the networking and uh, better will be the networking where better will be the opportunities. So, uh, second is the bias and discrimination is there, that is a uh, sexual harassment, uh, hostile work environment right. So, this type of the is uh, issue. However, the government of India has taken a lot of uh, initiatives and um, by the legal protection and uh, here we find that is the, um, uh, the women uh, uh, with the uh, is, uh, are likely to move into the uh, leadership roles uh, faster as, as compared to before. Lack of flexibility is there. So, work and family, N lot of research work has been done. My uh, two students uh, have done on this the uh, quality of work life and work life enrichment. Now, so, therefore, this is the balancing, balancing this work and family is always a question. And the uh, country like uh, India, uh, where, where it, it, it is the uh, there are certain roles and responsibilities are the uh, fixed for the woman of the uh, lady of the house only, and the uh, the male uh, does not contribute, right? A simple example is like the cooking is concerned. Right, and therefore, in that case, uh, because of these are this type of the issues uh, uh, that networking, exposure, going outside of the home, that that, that becomes uh, a challenging. Uh, that is a, uh, so. What are the major challenges are there? The first and most obvious challenge is that most of the people in the room are men. Um, but uh, this creates an opportunity for women to stand out and create a long-lasting impression from the office there. So uh, you see, that is the every weakness is having the opportunity and every strength it is having the threat right. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, we, we, it is always to that whatever the limitation is there that limitation is an opportunity itself. So, a scenario that uh, appears time and time again resolves around building a supportive network uh, in a space that ma males dominate. So, using this chance to seek both men women as the connections and mentors who will help you along your career path is there and therefore, in that case uh, the uh, whether it is a male or the female is there men women. So, then in that case it, it is the you are you are looking the chance and that chance is there through the connections only and when, when you get the mentors right and then you will find that is the whenever there is a, a right match that we have talked about the mentorship earlier there is a mentor mentee relationship and whenever there is a mentor mentee relationship and this glass ceiling is uh, not there uh, so therefore in that case you, uh, if uh, the right mentor has been the um, uh, in connect uh, with the mentee whether the uh, whether the mentor and mentee respective of their genders then definitely there will be the successful leadership so, what are the main challenges of the female leaders is there that is often with a full time role coupled with the additional stress of the raising your own family uh, and it can be hard to uh, juggle work uh, alongside personal life is there um, which uh, right from the beginning I am saying this uh, uh, the cultural issue 
right so therefore uh, uh, she is a leader but she is a leader more towards the personal life of the every member of the family right so therefore it it is the uh, question question is this that is the how to develop that leadership is there so if the pandemic has taught us anything it is to create a healthy work life balances is there right and uh, i will also like to uh, talk about it is a work from home in the further slide that is how this pandemic has given the opportunity so to because the, when it is started with the um, work from home uh, practices so the said nature for a lot of women is that expectations can often be set lower and and it is a self belief so that is the that belief self belief that uh, whether i can be global leader or not so therefore that benchmarking practices you see we always talk about that is a, what what you set for yourself and but irrespective of gender so that women are used to set uh, their priorities as the uh, family and we 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 wish that is the the equal equal priority will be uh, will be uh, set by the lady of the house uh, for the contribution to the society so women can often be perceived as a more emotional and less decisive than men but this is uh, research uh, does not uh, uh, have this type of the findings that is uh, mm, and they are more emotional and less decisive rather than it is just reverse bring more diverse physical mental and emotional experiences to everyday conversation is there and with the uh, with the uh, this particular uh, 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 dimension this has been proved so here are some benefits women can bring to leadership roles that is a uh, uh, women leaders uh, will paint the future you know, who is currently not in a leadership role can be a daunting pros uh, prospect centering such a high profile role right uh, that with the current stigmas that may be attached in turn this could push away the younger generation from striving to break down the barriers is there so therefore definitely uh, it, it it is the uh, it become more important that is the how these uh, we can uh, make the more uh, leadership roles for the women are concerned and uh, naturally that whatever the barriers are there uh, 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 those, those who are uh, at present like we were talking about the 38% we are talking about the 27% 25% right so there therefore uh, in that case uh, for a simple example i would like to give of the academics so in the academics when we find it is the more of women uh, are in the leadership percentage is better why because these uh, they have pushed away these uh, uh, those barriers uh, and uh, invited the younger generation so unique transformational ideas will be brought to the front uh, meta analysis comparing male and female leaders identified those female leaders were more transformational and they demonstrated so therefore uh, they have they have so because we, we are we are knowing the uh, leaders and leaders give their uh, male leaders give the credit to their mothers that is whatever the transformation is there then they say that it is because of their mothers so they, they demonstrated more contingent reward behavior than the two dimensional actions active and passive management presented by the male leadership is there so therefore always that unique transformational ideas uh, it, is, it it is not like this that is the women uh, women are not having women are having this unique transformational ideas and that's why we have got the transformational leaders in the world so therefore the basic root is the and uh, uh, the women only so here we, uh, the third dim uh, dimensions we talk about the enhancement of teamwork so uh, in india um, it is a collective family culture however it is the uh, nowadays uh, because of this uh, uh, dual income uh, practices and uh, uh, because of the global village you can say and uh, it is the fam families are not that much a collective family is not there but the basic basic culture is there a collectivism only so there is no doubt uh, that is the we have seen women demonstrate passion enthusiasm and capability to take command of a situation when need to be so there are number of example dear friends in india and there you will find that is the women uh, uh, those who who come across the adverse situation and they have taken the family's leadership position and i am not talking about uh, in the last 20 years or 30 years i am i am talking about uh, in the in indian culture right so therefore in that case uh, and they, whenever such a um, adversely if uh, even situation is there and they have got the leadership position they have proved that is the yes even in that case they have the patient enthusiasm and capability 
in the favorable situation? Of course, it is. So, women demonstrate the superior leadership values are there. Uh, research center social and demographic trends survey 2,250 adults rank women better than or equal to men in seven of the eight primary leadership traits assessed throughout the survey. So, business wide communication that can be announced. So, question arises that is the uh, then uh, what stops them basically. So, it is the um, business wide communication. So, therefore, that is the uh, when whenever the opportunity is given then it has been uh, seen that is the whatever the strong uh, woman's strongest skill is the communication and if she uses this her skill this power to enhance meaningful conversation with the employees, co-workers and partners then definitely who can stop from the success of the organization. Achieve a better financial outcome is there. Uh, within a more diverse workplace, the more likely creative ideas are going to be the presented and this helps the fuel growth and helps create more sustainability within an organization is concerned. Uh, the, this is possible only when whenever we are talking about uh, that is the how uh, this uh, uh, the ultimately the goal and objective right and the incentives are concerned. So, therefore, this is the whenever we, we, we want uh, that is the what will be the motivation. So, naturally it is, it is becoming the financial outcome outcomes is the one of the motivations is there which helps the growth and the create more sustainability uh, within an organization is there. Now, the fresh new out outlooks and the perspective is concerned. Women leaders will bring skills, different perspectives and innovative idea to the table. Right? But this combined will help to create new perspectives that lead to the better decision making as a whole for the business is there. So, when, when the, the skills, skills means that is the uh, uh, all the skills whenever we are talking about that is uh, about the taking the family together or the communication or the collaboration skills. So, collaborative skills, team building skills are there and uh, then then, uh, the, then creativity. So, therefore, when when the uh, when she brings these uh, uh, these um, these uh, uh, collaboration uh, with the creativity, then definitely it becomes the very important uh, uh, lead to the better decision making process. It can provide the better mentorship also uh, and uh, mother the role of the mother. So, we know that who can be the better uh, mentor than the mother. So, their role models cannot be overlooked of a person's gender or people need someone who will guide them to progress in their careers and uh, uh, all of us have gone through that uh, that particular phase when right from the school days uh, when, when the first time um, when we have entered uh, the learning centers and then the, there was the mother only uh, uh, who was uh, holding our hand and uh, from there we have started our journey. So, therefore, that is the uh, this, this, uh, this type of these uh, strengths they will lead uh, her because already uh, these capabilities are existing nature has given these capabilities. The ability to wear many hats uh, uh, that is a wonderful uh, role which uh, a woman plays. The wearing different hats within their roles is often a common occurrence. They may often balancing careers, household and taking up the uh, the mental of the parental guidance along with the many other experiences are there. So, you see that is if you go uh, to the, the whole day routine of a uh, lady of the house and these all roles which we keep on learning in the MBA education, um, whether uh, it is the change management, whether it is a stress management, whether it is a conflict management, whether it, it, it is the uh, team building right or uh, whether it is the leadership roles are there. So, this combined she, she, she plays the, all these uh, heads from day to night right and the woman in leadership roles can close the gender pay gap. So, that can often be overlooked is that, that the gender pay gap can be transformed into a gender opportunity gap. It has been seen that when males and females start their progress from scratch men are usually offered more opportunities leading to higher paying positions are there. No, 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 we, we cannot um, escape from this particular point, right. So, therefore, <coughs> That, that whenever they, they, they progress, the, they, they start from this uh, scratch are there. So, uh, then definitely in that case, uh, even many times you see there is a woman because of these um, multicolor hats which uh, they wear and uh, they find that is uh, let the, uh, the, uh, the um, uh, that um, uh, men of the house uh, go, go ahead 
and and their sacrifice uh, women sacrifice um, because that is the uh, that is making them the um, more uh, 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 that uh, the playing the different heads uh, uh, maybe uh, maybe the cause uh, behind this particular decision making process so how can your workplace better poster gender equity so commit to the conducting the regular pay audits uh, analyzing compensation um, by gender as well as by race and uh, 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 so uh, nowadays it is not uh, possible uh, uh, maybe in very few places uh, it is possible. earlier it was much practice that is the compensation for the male was more for the same job as compared to female was there right so they but uh, now 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 that understanding is minimized as much as possible i think so uh, allows the companies to identify inequities because the uh, there we are living in the uh, uh, era where we are talking about the equ uh, equities so therefore inequities is uh, uh, if it is there uh, and any 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 lady brings into the knowledge then definitely there will be the equities will be brought by the organization so commit to a culture of fairness and equity and build it to into their core values are concerned so need to review their hiring and promotion practices Right. So, when we talk about now that is we have seen the percentage. So, percentage is that is the board members percentage is better than the CEO's position. So, here what is required that is we have to review, review our, our promotional practices and when we when um, we are not having that biases and assumptions that is the how this tough task uh, um, will be handled by the woman. So, the, this particular uh, biasness when we will remove then we will find that is yes we are able to give the, the promotion opportunities to the equally to the female also and then whenever there is an equal opportunity has been uh, given then definitely then there will be the fairness and the they will be having the uh, better fostering uh, uh, equity is there. So, what organizations have to to do organizations HR policies. So, organizations HR policies should support uh, this type of these uh, aspects where the fair and equal promotional policies are available. Adopt the practices and policies to encourage the salary transparency is there and job description should include salary brands, bands for the each position and role within an organization. So, pay secrecy policies uh, uh, such as ones that punish employees from the discussing or, uh, or inquiring about the wages should be abundant. So, therefore, in that uh, uh, this is the if somebody asks you want to know that is I am also the same position and what my opposite gender is getting. Right. So, therefore, irrespective of the persons, of course, that is another legal issue will be there of the personal rights and all. But yes, um, that is the pay bands are the same. There is no discrimination on the base, on the um, pay bands are concerned. Mm, then the event and the practice of using salary history to set wages. Uh, so this perpetuates the gender pay gap because it assumes that the prior salaries were fairly established. So, uh, now if the organization is continuing this type of practices. Um, but uh, I am sure that is the in the era of uh, uh, this uh, uh, digital digital era. So uh, then it is not that possible but to create uh, to uh, hide that particular gap because that that is the if the gender pay gap is there then definitely it is against the law also. Uh, ensure workplace flexibility so that the women and men can better balance the demands of their home life with their jobs are there. This is what I was talking about that is the work from home is concerned and therefore for these uh, uh, those uh, who are having this, uh, 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 this responsibility of uh, home right then definitely they are able to make the um, better contribution at workplace also because of the work from home. So, is, so good parental leave, uh, leave policies right. Uh, like now India now there are the 6 months uh, uh, that maternity leave and paternity leave is also there and so family car uh, caregiving is there. So, therefore, uh, we find that is the yes the initiatives are taken and the uh, but still a lot of initiatives have to be taken because the still we do not reach to the uh, equity right and uh, remove our biasness and uh, giving the opportunities uh, uh, to bringing them uh, 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 as per their competent competency which uh, uh, the women leaders deserve then definitely in that case uh, there will not be the uh, that much barriers uh, uh, what we are talking today and uh, of course in then uh, in very faster faster growth will be there of the women leaders in the organization and corporate uh, CEOs positions and leadership positions uh, also. This is the case study normally we talk about that is the in this particular case study is there and then uh, you can go through this case study and can find out um, 
that is the how uh, this is there, right? And then these are these the research papers are there. Stereotyping and women's roles in the leadership positions are there. And uh, therefore, this particular research paper, um, which we'll talk about, that is the how um, the leaders' position, uh, the, with the help of this literature review, that is uh, how excellent leadership skills are provided. And these papers' findings are women are more capable of being the top performers, still not attaining the top level leadership positions, right? So this paper will consider some of the reasons uh, as we have discussed, some of them we have discussed, some of the more uh, this paper will be talking about. This is a book recommendation. Um, Women and leadership, most powerful women, some of the, so that is a conversation and definitely this will be uh, helping uh, us to understand more and create the more opportunities for the uh, women leaders, right. And these, as usual, these are the references which you can refer. Thank you.